story and who is disturbing me hi hello and welcome back to my channel <laughs> after 10 years of absence actually i don't want to do any intro because last time i was filming i did such a long intro that i was bored in the middle of it so maybe let's go and just do this makeup look today we are doing like wearable editorial orange uh, makeup look i saw this on uh, alana um, davison uh, video and i loved it so today we are going to use uh, this beauty it's uh, mio and beauty the tricks um, collaboration palette it's beautiful i zoomed you in a little bit because we will start with the skin which decided to totally disrespect me uh, after a month of illness and leave me with beautiful marks so thank you skin <laughs> so my skin is fully moisturized because girl it's crusty dusty believe me those uh, high temperatures and a month of illness <sighs> what am I doing like <laughs> I need to show this to you because I'm a beauty girl neon orange reminds me of summer and summer is glowy that's why I'm starting with beautiful mug scrub <laughs> strobe cream next foundation makeup revolution fast base stick foundation in F6 and this foundation is rather quick drying which is a little bit weird because it's a stick foundation so it's very creamy but I like to work in sections because see <laughs> it's already drying so you have to work really fast and a little bit hard you have to like pounce it Okay, foundation is on, it gives you dewy sort of look. Uh, it's not very long lasting, but I really like it and color matching is pretty great. Uh, once again, I'm in the color F6. And now we need to conceal. I mean, I really need those. To be gone. So I'm going to use a Bourjois Healthy Mix uh, concealer in 51. So I squeezed a little bit and I'm going to go uh, straight under my eyes with a beauty blender. And also uh, I'm going to prime my eyes with it a little bit. So now it's time for powder and I'm going to use lovely HD powder. A little bit powder on the lids so we can blend our shadows properly. highlight and don't even get me started if you are doing highlight last and do a streak of highlight girl no please just try just try it just try it out once to do highlight first and I'm going to use gorgeous Colourpop in Nudendo palette it's intense, you will see in a second. Bronzer uh, will be Hula from Benefit Chick Leader Palette. And I will use um, this shade as a blush uh, from Morphe 9. And palette. Fuck, I'm sorry. Uh, these are so pigmented. See, I look like 
Oompa Loompa right now. <laughs> and I used a very light hand. I dabbed once and I used Duo Fiber brush. So, and now I'm going to do brows off camera because I have an amazing product to do like perfect feathery brows and not soap. So stay tuned for that video and yeah. hello, I zoomed you in because now we are going to do eyes and I prep them with a little bit of NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk because I want a light base so the eyeshadow uh, could be as intense as it can get and now the beauty of it all! Wow. Neo eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I packed my brush with Marigold and now we will... Oh my god! I love it. I freaking adore it. Oh my god, this is so pretty! with a clean Sigma E35 brush and let's see how it's going to blend itself so far so good so I will do this eye the same as I did this eye and be right back. Okay, so I finished the uh, other eye and when I look at myself, I really don't see uh, an, any point and I don't feel any need to blend it uh, more because it looks gorgeous, really. And the most important thing I think is that this shadow is still as intense as it was in the beginning. I'm going to curl my lashes and put some mascara. I'm sorry, but I am obsessed with this look, with this eyeshadow, how it turned out. I love it. And if you think that this may be a little bit crazy and it looks undone in a sort of way, please keep in mind that this is kind of editorial look but still 100% wearable in my opinion. This is why I freaking love it. So, let's do lips and wrap this video up. So, eyes are pretty intense, so I want my lips to be totally nude. Uh, so for liner I'm going to use Essence uh, in the nude. <laughs> and lipstick Golden Rose Vision Lipstick 101 You know what? I love those lips. I love this caramely tone with this orange, but I feel like they are a little bit too dark. So, you know what? I have to cha change those lips. Mm -mm, girl, I don't like it. This is what I'm talking about, girl. So, <laughs> I used Golden Rose Ultra Rich Color Lipstick in 41. Guys, <laughs> we did it! And <laughs> it's maybe annoying to you, but I freaking adore this look. I love the change of color on the lips. I love the eyeshadow, I love my brows, I love my highlight. And I sort of fill in this slicky ticky type of bun situation. And leave me a comment if you are more neutrals kind of girl or you are gonna rock this orangey fantasy. And please smash this like uh, button if you like this look and if not... Mm, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for mm, being with me here and... Uh, till the next time, bye! And like 10 years ago, red and black was my favorite color. Now, seriously, I don't know. I think maybe orange and black, but really, who cares? <laughs>